Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my client Hannah and she's coming today for a redesign. So I removed her previous set off camera um, and now we're going in with design. So here I'm using Orchid, Orchid, I don't know how you say it or if I'm even saying it right. You know, I don't know how you pronounce it. I feel like I need to make up some names because I can never pronounce them. So if I make them up, I know what they are. And don't worry, I'll make them easy. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm doing a two colour ombre today. So I'm using this pink first and I'm placing it halfway down the nail and then just bringing that all the way down to the tip. I'm going to do that on all of the fingers. I'm leaving out the ring finger because that's going to be a full glitter now. Um, so yeah, I'll just let you watch this part. Oh, and I'm using my um, magic stick today. My beat up magic stick. But I put a little bit of gel polish on it just because it was coming really sticky again. Just like... you. You might be able to see it. It's a bit. It's the same gel polish that's on my nails. Oh yeah, I never really talk about my nails, do I? But if you're new to my channel, you're probably thinking, "What on earth is wrong with her nails?" I'm sorry, I just don't like wearing nails. I feel like I have to wear a little bit of gel gel polish only on the days that I work because I might record and people will be like, "Girl, your nails are so rank." But um, yeah, I don't wear nails. I never do. Never have, and I don't like wearing them. <laughs> Which is so weird, isn't it? Because I'm an outtake. I feel like if I stopped doing nails, I'd probably wear them. But while I'm while I'm doing nails, I'm not going to. So yes, you're just gonna have to put on my ugly nails. <laughs> So now we're going to go in with elephant at the cuticle area and blend that down. I kind of worked thin with these two because I knew that I'm I was going to keep going in with each color, um, and I didn't want to add extra bulk. So just work really thin and kind of wet, I'd say, just to help with the blend. Um, elephant's such a pigmented color as well. At first, when I first put this on, I was like, oh no, what have I done, night? But just keep adding some pink, adding some grey, adding some pink and just bending them up and down until you just, till you feel like it looks okay. And once you feel like it looks okay, leave it. Don't keep going in, just leave it. When you eventually come to cap, something happens when you cap nails and it just seems to like blend all, it just blends it all so perfectly. Like if you feel like it looks a bit funny just cap it and it will look nice as weird as that sounds so yeah that's my little tip is that a tip it's not really a tip but hey so yeah i'm just going to do that on all of the rest of the nails i'll let you watch
So now I'm going to cap them all in crystal glass. I've literally kept so much in on this video. I've barely cut anything out um, and I've kept it all in real time. Usually I cut out when I'm just faffing around and stuff. But I've just thought, you know, I'm just going to leave it in this time so you can really see what I'm doing. Um, do any of you follow my Instagram? Because I've been do every day. I work two days a week and every time I work, I do... Um, some stories on my Instagram of what I'm doing, so you're really missing out if you um, don't follow me on Instagram because everybody's loving them, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cap them all and I'll come back when we're ready for glitter. So on the um, ring finger, I just did a wash of I Do from CJP. And then this color is, color? This glitter is, I don't know. I really don't know. I will check in a minute. Oh, I can see it slightly. I know it's from the Smiley Glitter Store, but I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's a really gorgeous silvery um, white with different cuts in it. It's a little bit tricky to work with because it's got some really big like triangle bits in it. It is a bit a little bit tricky, but it's super stunning. So it is definitely worth it. But I'll make sure I put that in the link for in the description box for you, sorry. So yeah, just gonna try and get that as even as possible and then I'm gonna cap in crystal glass. Oh, so I didn't show you me capping it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So here I'm going straight in with filing just to do the side walls first, what I always do. Um, and then I'll come in with my e-file and whiz over the surface of the nails. Um, some greys that I use, like I've used ash before and at the cuticle area when I filed it, it's gone like the colour's gone a little bit. But with elephant it doesn't, which is really great. I love that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to file all these nails and then I'll shape them off camera because like I said on my other video, it's literally impossible to get um, a good 
view of that because I always flip my client's hand around and I file from that way. Um, so yes, that's off camera. And then I'll buff them lovely and smooth. I buff these so smooth. Like I was going to town buffing these nails because I just wanted them really smooth and oh yeah I loved buffing them they looked really good I might even leave a little clip of how they looked um yeah I'm gonna leave a little clip of how they looked once they're all buffed So yeah, I just grabbed that clip off my Instagram. Um, it's the kind of videos I do, just keep showing you like the process really. Um, so now I'm going in with Top Coat and here I'm using um, the Gel Bottling Extreme Shine. I'm really loving this Top Coat at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna apply a nice thin layer of that over all the nails, cure it in my LED lamp for a full 60 seconds. I'll apply my NAF stuff um, peach cuticle oil i'm using peach today hannah always has peach actually she needs to test the others because they're all so amazing um and then we're all done so i do hope you enjoyed this video i absolutely love these nails i leave quite a few clips at the end of the final result so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye